really blessed to be in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we, we've come up here today, and first of all, welcome to everybody. And we welcome our visitors over there. The Lord bless you. Um, it's such an awesome thing just to, to, you know, put things aside and actually come and just give reverence and awe to the Lord. And to just give Him what is due to His name. Amen? Yes, amen. So we've come here today to worship Him and to honor Him. But as we do that, to just give Him glory and acknowledge Him for who He is, that He is God and there is no one like Him. There is no one like Him. In Isaiah, He even says, in the, you know, when I read in the New International Version, it says, let him who says he is like me prove himself. And then God, he says it himself, he says, because there is no one like me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There is no one like our God. We serve a good, good father. And I was, you know, this morning, early hours of the morning, the Lord always sometimes does that to me, you know, when he just decides, Wake up now, I want to give you something. You need to just share this. <laughs> and we just need to be obedient to what the Lord wants us to do and to speak. Amen? So this morning, I, um, the Lord was saying that, you know what? I can only move to the extent that you allow me to move. I can only deliver you to the extent that you allow me to deliver you. And I can only do what you let me do. So God wants us to just get real today. Get real in His presence. You know, if we find ourselves that we are one of those that are actually, we often sit and we think about this and we say, God, you know, I've been asking you for so long. But why isn't it happening? If we find ourselves asking those questions, then we need to do an introspection. And we need to look at it from a perspective of how much am I allowing God to do in my life? And how much am I getting out of His way? That's how really He wants us to be. To get out of His way so that He can have His way in our lives. And the minute we do that, when we get out of God's way, the more He starts to move. The more you start to see the tangible things that you've actually, you know what, God, He gives His blessings every single day to us. In Psalm 145, it says, He opens His hands and satisfies the desire of every living creature. We are His divine design. He's created us. And so He seeks every single day. When we wake up in the morning, He says, His mercies are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. He's never let us down. So He gives us every single day He releases blessings upon our lives. Are we in the position to receive those blessings every single day? Or do we move, just like you know a boat is on some rough waters where it goes up and down and sometimes gets water in the boat and sometimes throws the water out of the boat. Where are we? Are we consistent? in being His presence, so consistently we receive His blessings Amen. every single day and experience when He says His mercies are new every morning. And we can, when we stand up, we can say, God, Your faithfulness, You are true to Your word. You are a good, good Father. And You can say, I will not be moved. By whatever comes my way, I will not be moved because You are on solid, ground. Amen. Amen. So you know the scripture that I had here um, where the Lord just showed me in um, Psalm 78. I was having an awesome time at the back there. <laughs> um, where you know he was saying 
Even though I took them out of Egypt, they still didn't remember my power. Hmm. Yeah. Are we like that? Even though God delivers us and we continue along our pathway, do we remember His miracles that He's performed in our lives? Do we sit often and do a recollection <clears throat> of His power? Of who he is in our in our in our daily lives and often reaffirm his position in our lives of who he is in us and that he is the creator of all things. I'm just finding that scripture there. I know I had it here, it was in Psalm 78, verse 42. If you get it before me, you can read it. There we go. They did not remember his power the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. Hmm. Do we often stop, think, every day, remembering the miracles that Jesus had performed, the miracles that he and God had performed in our lives? Every single day, there are new miracles. Every single day, just the fact that you wake up in the morning and you have the strength to get out of that bed, is a miracle in its own. Yes, when you go to bed, yes. you go to bed by faith, you rise by faith. Oh. That is a miracle in its own. Yes. Acts 19 verse 11 says, God was performing extraordinary miracles by the hands of Paul. Oh. And you know, when, when uh, Paul came out of the, the prison, they were actually praying for him. And if the gates did not fling open, an angel came and freed him from those shackles and opened that gate. God sends ministering angels when we need them yes. to perform the miracles that we need for breakthrough yes. and for deliverance and to set us free. And when he walked out there, and the minute he touched, when he touched the streets there, as they were standing on the wayside, on the pavement, just his shadow that fell on them, healed them. How much of God's power do you want to see manifest in you? What is your desire today? How much do you want God to perform a miracle in your life that today you say, that's it, it's enough. I've had enough. God, today I'm stepping aside and I want you to do what you know best to do in my life. I want to acknowledge you as the God of all power. Today I want to reverence you that you are God and there is no one like you. For he says, lift up your gates so the King of glory may come in. For who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. So as we acknowledge him today, when we go into worship, let us remember, just put aside everything else. Don't even remember the things that were challenging in your life. Don't even remember the limitations. It's just about you and about God, about me and about the Father, and about God doing his work in your life. If today you want to be set free, he's going to do it if you are lying to. If today you want to move forward, you want healing, today he's going to give it to you. It's how much you seek after what he is willing to bless you with. Because he loves us so much. And he will do for you as much as you are lying to. So I want you to say this after me. Today, I will be delivered. I will be set free. Today, God, you will move in my life. And I will experience your power because you are my God. And I am your child. And I thank you, Father that you are my God and um, Lord move in my life so how you said that 
is how he's going to move. Amen. If you said it with determination and you are seeking him, today you will find him. Amen. Today he will move by his great power because David would pray and say, Oh God, summons your might and display your awesome power like you did of old. Today, oh God, we summons your might and we ask you to display your awesome power like you did of old. When you split the Red Sea, Today there is nothing impossible, oh God, for you to do in my life. Amen. Amen. So let's just pray and then um, Josh is going to take over in praise and worship. Okay. Father, we just come before you now. Lord, we push back every foul spirit that is trying to limit your presence right now. And we command it to leave in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of bondage, we command you to lose your hold and break free from these people right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that your glory will rest upon us now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just invite you in. We invite your Holy Spirit and we say, have your way. As we just come before you now, Father, we have become very real to you now, Lord. And we say, Lord have your way in our lives. Forgive us where we have limited you. Forgive us where we have stopped your glory. Forgive us where we have stopped your Holy Spirit from moving in our lives. As we pour out our hearts to you today, Father, we say, Lord, we invite you in. We say, take control, Holy Spirit. We, they, we are not limiting you in any way, shape, or form. We are saying, Lord, we are getting out of the way. Hallelujah. We're saying, Father, come in. Come in. We're waiting with expectancy to see what you're going to do for us. Just like David said, summons your might and display your awesome power like you did of old in our lives today. Holy Spirit, have your way right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's rise now as we join in praise and worship.